I have wanted to play Dark Souls in VR for a very long time. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little tired of the same old VR sandboxes that we've been getting for the past couple years. Well, there's good news, because Grimlord is a new Souls-like game that just came out recently, and it is literally the closest thing that you can get to a genuine Dark Souls experience in VR right now. I know, that sounds pretty good, but there's still one question left to answer. Is Grimlord VR really worth buying? If for some reason you're watching this video and have never played Dark Souls before, it is essentially a video game series that has one single objective, to cause as much suffering as humanly possible to you, the player. No, 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 no! I thought this game just looked like Dark Souls. No, this shit is actually Dark Souls. So why somebody thought it would be a good idea to turn that into a VR game, I really have no clue. But what I do know is that after playing Grimlord, I had significantly more bruising on my body than when I first booted up the game. Come to Papa. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, fuck! Now, depending on how much of a masochist you are, that could be a positive or negative thing. But what really matters here is not only how amazing Grimlord looks, and trust me, it looks really good. Damn, son! Do the textures look crispy in here? <laughs> yeah, boy. But more importantly, how authentic it feels as a Souls Light game. This guy is a brick shit house. Get off that edge. Get off the edge! Go! Yeah! <laughs> this is literally Dark Souls, okay? Ugh, shit! I love this so much, dude. This is totally Dark Souls. Just like nearly every Dark Souls game, you start out in a very creepy and ominous place. In this case, it is a castle, swarming with zombie-like enemies, and for some reason, extremely conspicuous hands. <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't mind if I do. After which you are almost immediately faced with your first boss battle, and in typical Dark Souls fashion, the boss has a lot of health, which goes down shockingly slow. But remember, this game is in VR, so my shoulders were on fire, and the face pad on my Quest 2 essentially turned into a sweat sponge. Is this a boss fight? <laughs> what is up, pussy? Mm. <laughs> This is definitely like Dark Souls. This guy has uh, barely been hurt so far. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dude, what are you swinging at? <laughs> there we go, yeah! But there's good news. If you for some reason aren't all that into the grind of Souls-like games, Grimlord actually has an easy mode, which you can enable by becoming a wizard and double fisting fireball staffs. <laughs> Craft a magic staff. Oh my god. All right, bitch nuts. Your boss said you have to give me something. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that shit. Feel the matter concentrating on the tip of your staff. Yeah, this is the only way that I can realistically ever beat this game. <laughs> Dark Souls is known for a lot of things. Being insanely difficult, having epic boss battles, campfires, and of course, being able to roll but I personally enjoy the finer things in life. Like accidentally hurting every enemy on the map during my mission to recover all of the souls that I just lost after dying. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> well, this is going swimmingly. There are so many of them. Come on, give it to me. Do it, do it. I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> when I picture Dark Souls in VR, this is exactly what pops into my mind. The game looks great. Combat is fun and intense. There is a ton of room to customize your character's playstyle. And get this, because it was one of my favorite things about Dark Souls. You can use the items that you collect from the dead bodies of the bosses that you fight to create powerful new weapons that look freaking awesome. Oh. oh, shut your mouth and make me my axe. Holy shit, that is sweet. I literally, I could not possibly be happier with this purchase. Hand it over. Oh, wow. This is what you did for defeating the guardian at that first point in the game. This is what you can make 
Really, that is just stellar. This is actually so sweet. <laughs> oh my god, do I get something special? Mm, buddy, 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 buddy. What is it? I want it. Now, of course, Grimlord VR is not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. I encountered a few bugs, one of which was particularly funny. <laughs> what in God's name is this? Um, excuse me? Is this even supposed to be here? I'm hella confused right now, bruh. I can see everything. I see all of it. Oh, fuck. Nice, nice, nice. Am I just gonna fall forever? Okay, I think I fell beyond the scope of the map. We are now just looking at the HDRI. Is there no end to this? Brother, when am I gonna hit the ground? But all in all, Grimlord is an extremely fun game. If you like Dark Souls and happen to be a fellow connoisseur of VR, then this game is definitely worth buying. And even if you've never heard of Dark Souls in your life, playing this for an hour a day genuinely counts as physical exercise. I'm getting certified sweaty up in this bitch. And probably will make your shoulders look like Dwight Howard's. So really, it is a win-win situation. So I will restate the question of this video, is Grimlord VR worth buying? Yes, it is. Oh, that's so cool. This is a really cool game. Look at my arms. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Is this a bomb? This is a fire bomb. Oh shit.